All right, joining me once again here on The Matthew Filipovich Show is my friend Miriam Kaba. Miriam is a Chicago-based organizer, educator, and writer. She is the founder and director of Project Nia, a group working to end youth incarceration. She is also the writer of the blog Prison Culture, which you can find at usprisonculture.com. You can also follow her on Twitter, at Prison Culture. Miriam, thank you so much for being on the show again. Thanks so much for having me, Matt. All right, so Miriam, I think we discussed Project Nia the very first time you were on the show a while back. And right now you're actually doing a fundraiser for Project Nia. So if people are not familiar with the group and the work that they do, tell us about Project Nia and why you're raising funds for it right now. Yes, thanks for that. Um, right, Project Nia is an organization um, that I started in 2009. Um, so we're uh, six feet, we're in our seventh year um, now, and uh, basically the idea behind it um, is very simple. Uh, we have a long-term vision of ending youth incarceration, and um, really because we know that all research points to the fact that incarceration, particularly of young people, makes them worse. It isn't, um, you know, there's been no research that you can find that speaks to the positive uh, impacts of incarceration on young people. So we're working here in Illinois, particularly in Chicago, to dramatically decrease the arrest, detention, and incarceration of young people in our city. Um, and so, you know, we're an abolitionist organization, um, which means that we believe in um, the end of prisons police and surveillance, and um, we believe in the building and creation of alternatives that will address harm and, uh, you know, keep people safe. And so uh, I think we've talked briefly before on the show about abolition and a little bit about restorative justice and transformative justice, and that's basically the, you know, basis of how we operate and how we work. Um, and so this year, you know, we basically, when you're an organization that's an abolitionist organization that takes an explicitly, you know, very radical stance to the, uh, to addressing particular issues in the prison industrial complex, it's not like we are overly funded <laughs> by, uh, you know, big foundations right. and companies and people don't rush to support us, but we do have a great base of support in our community, uh, people who um, make individual contributions to help us get through. We have a very, very small budget, um, way under $100,000 a year, and so um, we raise a big, big chunk of that through individual contributions. And currently, um, we're doing our summer fundraiser. We're trying to raise $15,000 um, in the next few weeks. Uh, to cover basic costs for us until the end of this year. Um, and so people who want to support us can go to gogetfunding.com um, and we can put in Project Nia, which is spelled with N-I-A, um, Project Nia, and then we'll be able to find our summer fundraiser um, and contribute. You know, right now we've gotten, uh, we launched about a week ago and, we, um, you know, we have, gotten as low as three dollars donated and as high as a thousand dollars so there's a huge range of people who support us and we're almost at ten thousand dollars um, raised so if people want to support us we we appreciate it and we definitely put the money to good use yeah I, and i love the fact that you uh the idea I mean, because again, when we talked about abolition, it's one of those things where, like, when you actually go down the list, most people, well, at least a lot of a few people, kind of listening to this show, will be like, "Oh yeah, yeah, pr you know, for-profit prisons, horrible. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, the criminal justice system is so broken." But then they still have that we talked about before about getting people over that 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 hump of actually going, yeah. no, we really need to like completely destroy what's going on right now because little tweaks here and there are actually not going to actually really make, a ch I mean, not that it wouldn't do anything, but it really is not gonna uh, change the, the structural racism and structural yeah. problems that prison the prison system has in the US. That's right, that's right. And you know, and I think people support us um, mainly because they understand that, you know, the way that we've been working, which is trying to reform things in incremental ways, has actually, in a very perverse way, worked to entrench uh, a punishment system that is, you know, 
irreparably oppressive, um, and that has oppression at its as mainly the glue that holds the whole entire system together. So um, I think people understand that, and through our resources that we create, like curricula, through the events and conferences that we organize, through the individual projects that we seed and help catalyze, through our campaigns and advocacy, you know, this year in May, we were one of the co-lead organizations that successfully campaigned to pass reparations for police torture survivors here in Chicago, the first municipality to ever do that in the entire history of the country. So we do a lot of different kinds of things with very little, and I think people see that and they want to try to find a way to support us. Yeah, and again, I, I couldn't uh, recommend a donation enough. Uh, what you guys do is is amazing and, and really, really amazing. What's the website again for people to, to, to donate? Yes, they can donate to gogetfunding.com, and um, they can put in Project Mia, and that's how we'll be able to uh, find our online fundraiser. And we, again, we appreciate any amount that people will donate. Um, thanks for giving us a chance to talk about that, because that's the, the part of the work that really, uh, you know, people aren't necessarily seeing how difficult it is to be able to sustain.